What's up guys, we're back with another epic collection video. I bought a pretty awesome collection. It was a huge box, you guys saw it on the thumbnail. But, I had to take it out and value it because the guy was looking, I need to pay him. And so, it's not in the big box anymore, but it's pretty awesome. I'm gonna show you guys the cards before that, the giveaway. We're giving away these three promo cards. You see secret rares from the tins. All you gotta do is like this video, be subscribed, and you're gonna let me know. How much do you think these cards are worth? There's a lot of them. There's about 50 hollows, first edition, old school stuff. Some unlimited, it's pretty awesome. Let's get into it, I'm gonna show you guys. All right, and before you guys say, You're, you look tired, you should take a break, because I know that's what some of you guys are thinking right now. You're like, oh, this guy needs to take a break, he needs to do something like that, because that's what YouTube commenters love to say. I just took a nap, so that's why I looked tired. So I'm just letting you know. Here is the stack of hollows. So inside, it was LOB through AST, there was binders, but it was supposed to be like a complete set kind of thing, but there was tons of cards missing. So there was hardly any ultra rares, it was mostly super rares. There were some ultras, a couple secrets, pretty nice stuff. The conditions vary, so we're going to go through them, going to kind of see what we think the value is. Let me know in the comments what you think the value of this collection is. Also, all this stuff pretty much will potentially be for sale because a lot of times people send me stuff and they're like, yeah, I want you to buy it, and I tell them, okay, yeah, I'll give you this much, and they do it, and then I'm like, do I even really need this stuff? <laughs> you know. So if you guys want any of this, let me know. So let's go over this kind of stuff. We have a big stack here. We've got Garnesia Elephantis. This card is in pretty nice condition. So this is kind of the condition of a lot of cards. Like the front looks really nice. The back, okay, this is probably one of the better ones actually. This card may be gradable actually. So if it's gradable, I probably will not sell it. I'm probably gonna hang on to it and send it in, even if it gets a nine, because I don't think I have a Garnesia. Yeah, that centering is probably nine. Possibly a 10, you never know. It's not too bad, but it's definitely not good. All right, then we got some more stuff. See, as you see, that was first edition, so it's pretty cool. We had a first edition tribute to the Doom. This is probably the cheapest super rare in Metal Raiders, but as you see, pretty good. I mean, there's a little bit of stuff on there, so this one might get a nine, two. Yo, definitely with that centering, definitely not getting a ten, but still pretty good. So we will take that. That is cool. Tribute to the Doom. I'm not gonna go through every single one, but for these first edition Metal Raiders, I'm probably gonna go through them. So this catapult turtle, I remember looking really good. Top to bottom centering is not perfect, by the way, centering is, you know, if those borders are uneven, like this one should be the same size as this one. If it's not, it's off center. And then it's the same on the left and right as well. So this one is super clean. I think I could get a ton of nines of these Metal Raiders cards. I'll probably send them in like bulk or something because at this point bulk is $20, you know. I don't know if we're going to do any crazy 70 or $150 submissions. And the regular service seems to be really slow, so it's really just not worth the money in my opinion. I think you either go express or you go bulk. Okay, and then if you get really want to get crazy, you get super express. This one is really nice. This one might have a 10 chance. It's slightly faded as well. A lot of these Metal Raider cards are. Metal Raiders. By the way, a lot of you, uh, not a lot of you, but some people actually thought that faded what meant sun faded. And for Metal Raiders, it does not necessarily mean sun faded. A lot of these cards were just printed like this. You can pull them like that. So it's actually a unique thing for mostly Metal Raiders. I think a couple LOB, but usually it's it's Metal Raiders. I don't know what happened during that print run. That is super nice, that Kazijin. Okay, I'm probably going to have to sub those. And speaking of Faded, Sangha of the Thunder. Really nice card. Let's check this out. That corner may have a little something. Yeah, you see, guys see that tiny little lip right there? So that would probably stop it from getting a 10. Back looks pretty good. Overall, pretty nice set of the Gate Guardian pieces. I'm a big fan of that. Um, let's see what else. Okay, one more Metal Raiders card, and then we can get to go through these a little bit faster. Harpy Lady Sisters is really nice. Slightly faded. All these look like they came from the same place. Back is pretty nice. So I think I could get a decent, some decent grades on those. So I may send in those Metal Raiders cards. I don't know if those are going to be for sale. Then we have like a Reaper on the Nightmare. That's a nice GOAT card. Pretty decent value there. Gravekeepers, Chief, Mirage of Nightmare. There's all kinds of Ferrana Guardian. These are first edition. This is unlimited, so that's a kind of a random unlimited. Two drop off, one of those is unlimited. The LOBs, unfortunately, were all unlimited, but that would have made it really expensive if they were first edition. So Celtic, Flame Swords, we got two of those. These are originals, though. These are not old school. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Um, you guys see that foil shift right there? There's foil, and then it just cuts off right before the end of the picture. That's pretty common with LOB Supers, actually. The Unlimited seem to happen a lot. If you guys remember when we pulled the Exodia and the Blue Eyes out of like 18 random Unlimited original packs, like every single Hollow had a foil shift. Yeah, it, it seems like it happens a lot. So it happens on that Cursor Dragon. There it is on the Man Eater Bug as well, if you guys can see that. Yeah, there's that, that shift. That one doesn't have it. Then you go to Dark Crisis. So this is Unlimited Dark Crisis. That would be cool to have first dead. 
First set XZ Tank Cannon. That's actually nice. Ryu Sinchi, that's a nice GOAT card you can use in your extra deck. That's first edition. Look at that centering. Holy! <laughs> that is terrible. That's some of the worst I've ever seen. Look at the bottom. It's huge on both sides. Bazoo. These are LON. These are unlimited. Another first edition fusion goat card. It's pretty nice. Unlimited. DD Scout Plane. First ed IOC. Even though those are super cheap, still really nice. Revival Jam Unlimited. That would have been cool to have first edition Re Revival Jam right there. See, so there's a decent amount of value in here. I mean, these are some old, old school cards. MRL first edition. Let's check this one out. I think this one was not perfect. Front looks pretty good. Okay, that card's actually pretty nice. Some of the, a couple of these cards were not as nice as this. The ones we look at so far are actually pretty nice. There's Pharaoh Servant. Maha Violet, whoa. Okay, we've got first edition Spirit Reaper, which is cool because that's a nice goat card. And it's from Pharaonic Guardian, the original set. Magician of Faith first ed is actually worth quite a bit. And this is a near, I think it's near mint from Metal Raiders. Okay, maybe not near mint. It does have some junk at the top. Oh, it's bent. Okay, never mind. Take that back. Also, it has that uh, ink error on the, the M and the G and the A. It's got all kinds of extra ink, so that's kind of cool. I don't know if that really adds value or not, but... Sukiyomi, that card's worth something in Unlimited. I think like five bucks. Um, Neko mains, those are okay. We got some commons here. These are all some decent commons. Final countdown's worth a few bucks. Here are the ultra rares. So here are all the ultra rares that were inside. Don Zalug, this one was definitely not nice. I remember that. Spell Cancel was beat up. I think all the Ultras were not nice. Like, even this Air Knight. Yeah, you guys see that? Like a mini crease. And the back's pretty beat up, so that's like moderately played at least. So, unfortunately, the biggest cards were not the best in terms of condition. Horn of Heaven was in there. The Legend, of course. The only Metal Raiders foil. It's like a meme in there. Horn of Heaven. And then there was the Pharaonic Guardian Secrets. Both of them. They are first edition. Unfortunately, this ring was not perfect. Yeah, you guys see that bend up there? And then the back, it has some scuffing on it. And then, whoa, it's like wavy right there. Is that bent or is that just, I think it's just the quality. Pharaonic Guardian was really weird. But I love this card. It looks so good. This and the Ultimate Rare both look really, really good. I'm a big fan of the Secret Rare. So I was I was okay with picking this up, even though it's a little bit beat up. And the Law of Golem was like this as well. This one was, it just like doesn't look very clear on the front. And the back is a little bit scuffed. Yeah, you guys can see that. So it's not terrible condition, but it's not perfect. But overall, a pretty cool collection. So, like, a lot of nice cards. And then we had the old Metal Raiders. And I think the Metal Raiders were actually the best condition overall. Yeah, so if you're interested in any cards, let me know and hit me up on Instagram. But if you have, or if you're interested, don't just say I'm interested in this card. Give me an offer. Like, say, I'll give you this much for this card or these cards. Because I just don't have time to research every single card and figure out the prices that way if i'm going to do it i might as well just do a claim sale or something on instagram so come to me with an offer so that i can either accept it or whatever and i just make it easier on me and you're more likely to get the car because a lot of times people will say hey i want to buy this and this and i just never get back to them because i just don't have time to look it up and find all the cars and stuff but if you come to me with an offer i'm more likely to sell it so if you're interested go ahead and do that on instagram email whatever so I hope you guys enjoyed this collection video. It's pretty fun. We'll be having more epic stuff coming up in the future. And that's it for today. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero! Dark Bright! Boom! Oh! <laughs>